listen only to the sound of my voice. Let your thoughts drift. Let the bad memories fade. Let peace be upon you. Let your thoughts drift. Let the bad memories fade. Let peace be upon you. Imagine somewhere calm. Imagine somewhere safe. Imagine yourself in a frozen forest. Our greatest barrier is our own fear, our own doubts. The only thing holding us back is how far we are willing to go. The human mind holds many mysteries. I am deeply optimistic about this project's potential. Of course, the human consciousness is fundamentally unpredictable. Trials are now on the way with a new set of subjects. Similar physiology, different environmental conditioning. Following minor seizures, the subjects D2 reported a brief period of impaired hearing. Similarly, D5 complained of a decreased sense of taste. The duration of these episodes can range anywhere from a few seconds to several hours. Subjects appear unable to distinguish the implanted memories from their own. Several subjects have experienced fleeting bouts of paranoia. Day 42. Only four of the original test subjects survive. Of the others, most died of coronary failure. It's clear that the majority of patients exhibit signs of mild to severe psychosis immediately following each procedure. One died later from self infected Now I am reluctant to resort to the use of physical restraints, I may be forced to do just that. Today, I asked a question that I should not have asked. A question about the test subjects. Who were they before? Cognitive <laughs> isn't just science fiction. It will allow us to remove specific memories of severe psychological trauma.